We have learned so far how to define a delegate, but C Sharp 3.0 includes built in generic delegate types, func, and action. So we don't need to define custom delegates as we did in part 29. Func is a generic delegate which is included in the system namespace. It has zero or more input parameters and one output parameter. But what is this signature and how can we create a func in C Sharp? For that, let us go to Visual Studio. In here, before we start using the func, let us create a couple of methods. So we have in here the square method, which takes as a parameter a number and returns the power of that number. Then we have the cubic method, which returns the number to power 3. Let us create another one named 2, which simply returns the number 2 and it doesn't take any parameters. And let us create one more with void return type. Now let's go inside the main method. In here I'm going to create a reference to the square method. So we said that a func has zero or more input parameters and it has always an output parameter. For that we need to use the func keyword. And when you write func in here we see that the first parameter is going to be the out parameter, so the result from this parameter. And we know that the result is going to be a math.power, which is of type double, so for that we write in here double. And then next we can define all the input parameters. So it will take as a parameter a double number. For that we write in here double. Then next we need to define a name, so let us say in here square, and this is equal to the square method. If you want to see the result, you can just write in here console.writeLine and then let us define the func name, so the square is equal to the square and then we define a parameter, so of type double, let's say 2, it will return 4. Let us do the same for the cubic function, so for that we write in here func, the return type is going to be a double and as an input parameter it will have a double, we name this one cubic is equal to Cubic. The same way, if we want to see the result, we can use the console.write line and simply change the square in here to cubic. Let us now see how we can reference the to function, which has only a return type, but it doesn't have a parameter. So for that, we write in here func. The out parameter is going to be of type double, but it doesn't have any inputs. So to is equal to to. The same way, if you want to see the result, we use the console.write line, but now in here, we replace this with 2 and we remove the parameter because the to method doesn't have any parameters. And the last one is the void one. If you come in here and you write func and then you define as an out parameter or as the return value, you write void, it will not work because we said that a func must always have a return value. So we cannot create a reference to the show method because the return type is void and the func, which is a generic delegate, must always have a return value. Before we press the Ctrl F5 to see the result, let us change the square in here to cubic and the square in here to 2 and then Ctrl F5. So here now we have all the results. Before we go to the next part, it is important to mention that a func delegate can have 0 to 16 input parameters. A func delegate can also be used with an anonymous method or lambda expression. Let us go back to Visual Studio and see how we can use an anonymous method or a lambda expression. So in line 11, I will remove the reference to the square method. I'll write in here delegate, so I'm now creating an anonymous method, so delegate, which takes as a parameter a double value, and then it returns the value times value. So I'm not using the math class in here. Let us go now to the line 14 and see how we can use a lambda expression. So in here we take as a parameter a double value, and we return or goes to value times value times value. Let us save the changes and then press Ctrl F5 to see the result and we see that the result is the same like referencing the 
cubic or the square method.